Hi guys, Metal Misty here. Okay, so uh, this is the end of my first week in a splint. The um, cast came off last week, um, so I've got to wear the splint now for six weeks. The first two weeks I have to wear it, um, just try and move it around a little bit, don't actually take it up at all in the six weeks for bed, so you sleep with it on. After two weeks, then you can take it off for the next two weeks, off and on, like washing your hands and do any labour. Um, and just doing some very, very light uh, working with it to make sure that the muscles will start moving around. And then the final two weeks, you take it off more often in the day and then you put it back on again. So six weeks of, of a splint um, and then you still have your your um, splint on at night time because if you think about it if you sleep you turn over you bend your hand it's gonna hurt so uh, okay so you want to see the scar okay so this is a they call a fractura or a splint and it's a metal uh, piece of uh, a piece of metal that goes on this side of the palm this bit's all soft and I'll just take this off so Okay, just in case you're a bit squeamish, don't look away. Okay, so here we go. That is the scar. Um, you can see where the um, the splint's actually gone into the skin here. So that's not me. That's the, the splint making a, uh, a marking. So the scar runs from there all the way down. And I don't know if you can see, but there's a lump around there and that lump is actually uh, one of the four um, screws that have gone into the plate um, I can actually show you the no, you probably can't see it very well but there's an actual lump just here um, so that's quite prominent I wasn't expecting it to be so you know um, you can probably see it there um, I wasn't expecting it to be so pushed towards the skin area um, so I'm going to keep an eye on that. Um, but this this uh, plate after the the ulnar shortening is not going to come out unless you know, like in a, in a year's time, I feel that I need to take it out because of my three contact sports I do for martial arts and things. Um, and I have a feeling that's probably going to take it out because of this lump here. But we'll see. So um, yeah, so I haven't got a lot of um, movement. In this, I can't really lift up. I haven't got this sort of movement, and I haven't got the side movements. Um, and you can probably see there's a lot of wastage there. Um, I don't know if you can see the difference from my my watch and my bracelet on, but there's a lot of uh, muscle wastage, um, which you'll find if you've been in a cast um, and you haven't used the limb for quite some time. Um, or generally, because of my, my wrist has been quite poorly for the last three and a half years anyway, um, you generally don't use that side of the body. So um, there's a lot of muscle wasted. So when I start doing physio, that's the, that's the time it's going to come back again. And it's gonna, probably going to take me probably about a year before I can get the muscle back properly into this area. Um, okay, so I'm hoping that um, things will work out. I'll uh, do another blog, um, probably in another two weeks time, just to see if there's anything different going on. Um, one thing I did do today was um, I went to the Health Assessment Advisory Service um, for the industrial injuries. Um, if you have an accident at work, you have an assessment, a medical assessment, I've done a few of these, um, and they just basically just see what your mobility is and then if you are, I think it's 14% or more, or is it 12% or more, no, 14% or more, then you start getting a little bit of money, um, like 33 pounds a week or something. Um, so I had the assessment today, and um, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. But um, still can't drive. Um, end of next week, I'll contact my insurance and see if I'm allowed to drive with my uh, splint on. Um, and uh, so don't don't think about driving until you get the okay from your insurance company um, because they might stipulate you have to wear a splint they might stipulate some other things always best be safe 
uh, because if there is an accident, whether you, you know, you did it or not, um, it can be frowned upon quite badly if you didn't want to tell your insurance company that you've got a, a problem. Okay, well, uh, thanks for watching. I will come back to you in a few weeks' time. Um, check out my other blogs about um, any other help that you could get if you are in a similar situation. And um, yeah, best of luck. Okay, take care. Welcome, guys.